Hey sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today's quilt block is called Summer Winds and it requires some flying geese. So for my flying geese units, I'm using some squares and I will be able to get four flying geese units from each of those um, colored squares. The colored squares are five and a half inches and the white squares are seven inches. And I'll have all of that down below in the description box. For the center of my block, I need a four and a half inch square for my, a background fabric, and I need four of these rectangles that are two and a half by four and a half. I also need four different two and a half inch squares that I'll be putting into my block. I'm trying to make this quilt block very colorful so I was trying to find some different colored fabrics trying to you know fit it all in. Then for my half square triangles I'll need some three inch squares. I have six of each color, six background squares and I those six um, little sets of squares will yield 12 half square triangles for this quilt block. First element for this quilt block is flying geese units and I am making four different sets of flying geese units. Each of these sets of squares will yield four flying geese units. So with this white square and red square, I will get four flying geese and I only need one for my first quilt block, but I'll save the other three for the next blocks that I'll be making. So I drew a line and I'm going to sew on both sides of that line. I'll cut along the pencil line and then I'll press to the darker fabric. After pressing my two pieces, I put them right sides together, opposite directions, so that the white is facing a red and a red's facing a white. I drew another pencil line, and again, I'm gonna sew on both sides of that pencil line. Now I'm ready to use my special ruler. I will leave a link below, but I also have a video about how to make a flying geese unit without a special ruler. So I'll leave that below as well. These flying geese units, before sewing them into my quilt block, measure two and a half by four and a half inches.
So there are the three flangies that are going to wait for another quilt block and now I need to do that three more times and I will use four different flying geese for my quilt block today. Using my three inch squares, I'm going to make 12 half square triangles using these squares and I'll be drawing a line corner to corner. I will be cutting along that pencil line after sewing on both sides and then trimming all of these half square triangles to two and a half inches. Now that all of my elements are ready to go, my flying geese units are ready, my half square triangles are ready, I'm able to put my quilt block together. So I'm going to lay it out right next to my sewing machine. I'll try to mix up the colors so that I don't have two blues next to each other and I'm going to sew it all together in rows. And this is really my favorite part when I can put that quilt block all together.
This is such a beautiful block. Summer winds, it measures 12 and a half inches. Uh, I enjoyed putting it together with you. Thanks for sewing with me today, and I'll see you next time.